This time on Custom Works, we're making the awesome custom dash for the 60s truck. Oh, yes! Ring, bling, 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 bling. Hello? Yeah? The workshop? Yeah, I'm already here. Yeah, okay. Start the show. Yeah, okay. Bye! Okay, so this time we're going to be looking at the dash where all the wire is going to go and also where the switches are going to go. You would not believe how many switches and how many controls this car is going to have. Like, we thought the meat wagon was up there, but this thing is just, it's quirks and features ahoy, really is. So that's what we're doing on this show. So let's see how we do all of that. Right, so every truck needs a dashboard and the 60s truck is no different. Of course, though, it's going to have a dashboard that's different to everything else. So first off, I have this piece of steel, which I've had rolled. And I've got these bowls, which I bought from Ikea. Didn't actually buy them for this job, actually. I bought them for something when I was on a terrible TV show and they didn't have any stuff because I didn't have any idea how to build cars. Anyway, enough of that. So I got these. And these are going to make the ends. I'm thinking, this fits on there very nice. And uh, that was lucky. <laughs> it's very, it's very lucky. It's very lucky. The uh, the woman that rolled this knew the roller. I'm telling you now. She um, she made a very good job of it. I didn't think you could get it that close, but it is unbelievable, isn't it? That's room for you. That's room. <laughs> well, with accuracy, yeah. Something accuracy. Something that left me many moons ago. Anyway, so I'm thinking something like that, and I'm aware I'm probably have to go and cut the bowl down like this to get round the roll cage. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So let's get this cut down and get it over to the car. See what we're doing. Right, and so I've welded the bowl on the end there. It's a little bit gappy. It's just tacked up for now. And I've got this in. I screwed a couple of little brackets to the, the bulkhead there, to the firewall. And that's holding that up, got the clamp in. But I'm thinking that's looking quite good. So what I need to do now is make this bit here. So then, I need to fill this bit. So I need to cut a slot for there, get around the steering column. And then I need to sculpt that other half a bowl onto there. I actually went to school with a lad called half a bowl. I didn't really. Anyway, um, yeah, so get that on there, weld that up, and um, that, I think, is going to be a great base. And this, as well, is nice and deep because, of course, this car is going to have a screen in the dash. We're not having no modern screen, no LED, LCD, OLED, 1080 HD, none of that. We're having cathode ray, just as it should be in a 60s show car. So we do need quite a bit of depth. Also there's a telephone as well. You know about a telephone? No. Anyway, let's get on, let's get that cut and let's get this tacked up. Right, and so here's my uh, other bit of steel. I'm gonna make a little bit for in there and I've marked this at four inch. So now I'm gonna just try and plasma around that. Dangers here are going off the line. I've got quite a bit of this, so that's okay. And the other danger is this edge is incredibly sharp. So hopefully, as I guide, that ain't going to cut my hand. I could do this more accurately with the grinder. Or wear a glove. No idea what that means. But anyway, yeah, round there, and then it's going to fit in. I think with a little bit of, just a little bit of grinding, that should be about straight enough. I, I, I wobbled a bit there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right, grind that up, let's tack it on. If only I'd had the glove on. 
goggles. I don't need goggles because I've got two glass eyes. <laughs> right then, let's see if this fits. Right, and so I offered it obviously, it's not really going very well. Um, I've got to take a little bit off, it's got too much. Whack a bit off there, and it should fit in. This should fit. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take the keys out. The keys haven't been out of this car for like nearly three years. I've just put them down there. Now lost they're forever. lost forever. <laughs> Okay then, that looks like it's going to be about there. I'll just let that out for the steering column. Right, so I've cut that bit out, it should fit around the wheel, so back to the plasma, back to the bench. Right, so that's that bit on. Now, just to add the bowl on the end. So that is just catching out. I'm just going to mark it, let that out a little bit. Boom! Looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. So that took like half an hour. So. This will have a trim round it so we can get into there, that's why I wasn't that bothered about that bit, plasmering it out, who cares, you know, that's going to have a thing. And, you know, from this point forward now, we can start to think about where the TV's going to go, where the telephone's going to go, stuff like that. But for now, that is pretty cool. Right, and so... It's in there, it's in position, but we realise like you can't get to the ignition key and uh, it's in there and it's, it's quite a way back. Like that fall, as long as that mark on my hand. Why was I using my hand as a tape measure? Oh well. We need something to go in there. So what we have is this vase, which I think is off of funerals. We've trimmed it out to go around the steering column. So yeah, that goes in there and then with keys in hand, and my big fat hands, that will fit in, turn on and off, but of course we don't want this bit hanging out. So I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna mark round here, I'm gonna get three tacks on the outside, and then we'll take it to the bench, weld it on the back, then grind this whole piece off, giving us a lovely sort of radius frenching of the uh, keys. Gaps around it, but you know what I mean. I'll glass round it and uh, make it good. And you might wonder why am I making it in steel? I'm making it in steel because this will always be inside the car. 
So the fragile steel won't be, you know, too damp or wet or anything like that. So steel's okay for that. Steel, cheap and quick. Take it for a ride, man! Take it for a ride! Well, there we go, right? So, with keys in hand, look, th these keys do loads of good things. Look at that. No hands! Yeah, that is not, well, other than this being like a hoop of razor blades. Yeah, that's pretty good, that is. Yeah. Bit of bond, bit of glass, bit of bondo, sort it. Okay then, so I'm in the spray booth and I've got some bits. Bits I didn't film, but nevertheless, bits that I've made. So first, we have this, which is like, it's like a beautiful little box. And this is where all the toggle switches are gonna go. Um, when that is, when, wait a minute, when this is mounted, where I'm about to show you where it's gonna be mounted. But this is uh, part of the dashboard. And also got this, which is part of the dashboard. Is that just a bob of filler on the black? Yeah, it's a bob of a bob of filler. <laughs> bob of, I went to school with a boy called Bob of Filler. Why are he in Star Wars? Bob of Filler. Anyway, um, a blob of filler on the back, but also I want to show you where this is actually going to fit. It, it will all fall into place and you'll, you'll fully understand it. Also, I've made all these things. So these are parts that go around the as yet not seen engine cover, but these are all cloaking parts for that. And these have all been meticulously made in fiberglass. And um, this has took um, probably longer than it should. Um, but yeah, there's that. There's also this, it's got this nice slot where the ram goes in and pushes the bonnet up and down. And also this that goes around the back. But all of that is to be seen at a later date. For now, let's go and have a look where this is going oh it's, it's just so smooth just so smooth i want to film all of this but um kirst has been uh kirst has been ill so uh she's not been able to do it how are you feeling kirst <coughs> yeah that's how good does it so we look inside the car see where these bits go so inside it a massive amount has happened we've sort of preliminarily got the dashboard together and yeah this is a massive metal ball in the middle of the dash I wonder what's going to be going on there. This is the centre console, and you can see the centre console at the minute is sort of, sort of matching into the seat base, and it's all looking good down to there. And I always think when you're building stuff like this, what you want, you want, you want to be making in the footwell, is just a nice clean edge, almost like a skirting board in the house, is, and that's where the carpet's going up to. So if we look at the floor there. You know, I'm starting to get that nice clean shape where the carpet will go and, uh, you know, all this is filled in. So, things inside this centre console. So first off, here is this piece of dive bond with this uh, blob of stuff on the back. That goes here. And you see, what I've done here, I bent this to shape and then I masked around here with the masking tape and let the tape dip a bit there. So I got this, and then push this in on the filler. So what I get, this fits this perfectly, but also it sits in, and that'll be held on a, a couple of small magnets. Uh, but this has to be removable, because you need the handbrake, or e-brake if you like, and you've got to pull this off, and then you can get to the handbrake, pull the handbrake on. And that, in the UK, that's an MIT requirement. So that's got to go there. But it covers it up, makes it all look nice. But in an emergency, oh, oh, it's out of the way. I've grabbed the brake. So uh, yeah, that's that bit. Now, the switch bit. Now, we were looking at this the other day. And uh, Hot Rod Legend Lee Cox was here. And of course, he's doing the wiring and saying, please make the switch box as big as possible. And for the amount of switches that have got to go in this dash, this square was not going to cut it. So I've made this, and this is going to mount here, 
and then that will have all the switches in it so that is going to be super cool and this really is um it feels so nice it feels do you want to feel it again cursed mm. yeah, it really is nice isn't it so this is just an mdf box um to get the curves on the end i just cut like little strips and then bondoed round it sanded it all to shape so i've gone over it in fiberglass resin sanded it down this is ready for primer and yeah, that's going to fit in there. It just screws onto the centre console. All the switches and everything will be in there. In the sphere on top of here. The sphere on here. So this is going to have a four inch cathode ray TV screen in. So we're not talking no LCD, no touch screen, nothing like what's in your modern car. This is going to have a real old school TV in there. Now what is that TV going to do? We're going to have no instruments anywhere. On the TV though, we're going to have the TV mounted to a camera and the camera is going to film all of the instruments. They're going to be in a box hidden away somewhere and, uh, with a light inside. So on this screen, that's where your speedo, maybe a te yeah, temperature gauge. It's not going to have a lot of gauges. You know what I mean? Hot rod, isn't it? You know, no gauges, no worries. You know how it goes. But yeah, that's what's going to be in there. But that, that's to come in the future. But I've got the TV. It does fit. I've got the leads. I've got the thing that converts from RVF to VHS to, I don't know, all of those things. So that is going to be really cool. This is all a work in progress, but it is slowly, slowly coming together. And now, are you feeling any better, Kirst? Much better, thanks. Um, and now Kirsty's better again, we can film a lot more of me actually doing stuff. Um, oh yeah, as well, look at this, it's got, it's got cup holders. And they hold them at like McDonald's cups. So even if you go large on your meal, yeah, the Midas truck has still got you covered. So, that's it. Laters! Well then, we're pretty much at the end of the video, but look, it's all in the booth and it's all ready to be primed. Meaning that pretty soon, there's gonna be paint on it. So this week, we're gonna have an extra, like small, short, probably five minutes, all about the material, the parts getter, my daily driver, and that crazy exhaust pipe it's got literally hanging on the back of the car. So look out for that. I mean, it's probably only gonna be five minutes long, but what else are you gonna do? Anyway, in the meantime, don't forget, click, subscribe, share, do the bell icon. You can also, also do that buy me a coffee thing as well, if you really want. The link's down below somewhere, down there, underneath the television, phone screen, tablet, whatever you're watching on. Anyway, that's it for this week. I thank you very much, and good night.